many of you know the three most important phone numbers by heart in your life? Uh, not your own, but like your family, your... Yeah, I do. I know one. I, do. I know two of the... Th I only I have two of the three. Because one of the things I've noticed is... 911 included, I know all three. Because <laughs> <laughs> what I also, I've also noticed is that Google Maps and Waze have stolen from you the ability to find your way home. Because <laughs> yeah. I was walking through a city the other day and somebody was trying to weigh something and, and I finally said, hey, there's an app in your phone called Compass. <laughs> and you should learn how to use your compass. Because one day you're going to be lost and you may not have your phone and your house is going to be two blocks over to the left and you're not going to be able to get there. <laughs> <laughs> the more technology we have, the more we're plugged, the more it seems we don't activate these really important cells called brain cells. Mm. Mm. Let and me so, Google what those are. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not one of those people who thinks technological advances are bad. Right. Because I'm glad we have electricity. And electricity changed everything. Light changed everything. Because you could not go out at night, and now suddenly you have light. You could not read after a certain time. Now you could read all night. You, you, there's so many things you could not do, but now we had light, and it changed the world. It was probably a bigger world change than it is even now to have the Internet, right? Yeah, I think that we don't factor in how important that was as a critical shift for civilization. Light gave us control. We got daylight any time we wanted. And... The, there are people, I'm sure, back then who were like, this is destroying everything. <laughs> and just, they were in the same way with the television or the telephone or, you know, um, every, every technological advance has people that says, this is ruining culture, or ruining humanity. So I, I want us to assume that there's so much good in technology. But what do you think you're losing by being so plugged in and not being unplugged? I would say social experiences. Humans. Humans. Yeah. <laughs> so but like, right but, here. no, seriously, because the thing is that we have so many social apps, but you're not actually connecting. But it feels like you are, hmm. like commenting on something. And so when you get in person and you're trying to have more than a five minute conversation, nobody can have it because they need the space and time to like think about it, respond back in like a day, you know, to whatever the comment was. Hmm. So nowadays, our ability to socialize is just skewed. I think it does at least two things. One, it reduces empathy. Because a, a part of growing in empathy is to be able to see the physical effect mm -hmm. of your actions on another human being. Wow. So wow. if you say the wrong thing or you say something too harshly, you see the pain in their faith yeah. in, face in that instant. Yeah. But when you send a harsh text, you do not see their response. Mm -hmm. when, when you're too blunt or too harsh or you, you're just cutting through without spending time developing some rapport, you do not see the effect you're having on another person. Yeah. And so you don't understand the outcome of your actions. I think it's culturally reducing empathy. It's really important to have face-to-face -face contact with human beings so you can see how they're responding. Wow. By the way, it's gonna affect the way you date because you're not gonna be able to pick up the right social cues because <laughs> if they're not FaceTiming you, you don't know what to do. You know? <laughs> if you're not texting, you can feel intimacy with the person texting that you actually don't have in reality. Hmm. What if we can't break fully from, from the phone? I can't do a technolo like technology Sabbath. That's like a big trend right now. Friday night, turn off your phone, turn it back on Monday morning before work. If I did that, you would fire me. But it, it really disrupts so much of our lives if we disconnect from it. Your whole job is directly connected to your ability to edit film that is being processed to your computer. Yeah. If you take it away, it takes away your livelihood. How do we change our relationship well, when we first can't of all, fully unplug? Since I am your boss. Yes, sir. But I'm also your father. <laughs> yes, sir, boss, father. I care less about how fast you respond to me than how deeply you're thinking. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> <laughs> and what we've learned um, in terms of our uh, newer processing is that every time you're interrupted, it takes 30 minutes to get back to the level of deep thinking that you were at. Mm. Mm. Wow. So every single time you let a text or uh, a notice or a tweet or something else interrupt you, you're pulled back out to the surface level. Mm. So if you're not careful, for nine hours and 41 minutes, you're a slave to the surface mm. rather than able to go and dive deep. Mm. And I think it's really important at least once a day to take an hour where you allow yourself to dive deep.